In today's video, we'll be looking through this Game Center magazine and I actually picked this up for free at Walmart a few weeks ago and I thought it might be interesting to look through and see what new things will be coming out. I think actually most things in here have actually already come out, but either way, hopefully you'll find it interesting. I'm not sure how often this comes out, but it's kind of nice it was there for free. So, PlayStation 5, Dual Sense Edge wireless controller. I like all the colors too. Nintendo Switch Online. More games, more features, more fun. Compete or cooperate online with other players and access a library of 100 plus classic games from the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and Game Boy System. I think that this is pretty useful for anybody who wants to play those games and doesn't have any of the old consoles. So online play, NES, Super NES, Game Boy, Save Data Cloud, Smartphone App, special offers. I guess if you have a lot of people in a family membership, that's a good way to save money. So this is interesting to me. The first ever open world Star Wars game so it seems like everything is becoming open world now. So what does it say? Lucasfilm Games, Ubisoft, and developer Massive Entertainment recently gave Star Wars fans around the world a first look at Star Wars Outlaws. A new game that promises to take the franchise to some new corners of the galaxy. Um, let's see. Star Wars Outlaws will be notable as the first open world video game to be part of the Star Wars franchise. The team of Massive promised that Kay and her crew will have a large amount of freedom in their travels. So that should be interesting. And let's see. Okay, yeah, it looks like it comes out next year, so not anytime soon. Let me see an ad for Mortal Kombat, which I have yet to actually purchase. But I'll definitely need it for my collection. And it's already out. So that'll be really neat to have. And what's this? Nintendo reveals first major detail about next-gen plans. So let's see. The Nintendo president confirmed that your Nintendo Switch Online account will carry over onto the next platform whenever it arrives. Even if Nintendo's next console isn't fully backward compatible with current Switch games. Yeah, well, I hope it is for some games, but I don't have too much hope. The Nintendo Switch has now been out for six years, which is just crazy to me. Nintendo has never gone more than seven years before launching a new home system, with that milestone approaching in spring of 2024. Speculation of the company's next hardware is reaching a fever pitch. 
so I guess we will see hopefully soon Pokemon Go Plus actually never got into this but I still see people playing all the time Alright, so now I think it's going to go over some new games to play. So Pikmin 4 is out, and that was released in July, actually. So it's been out a while. In Pikmin 4, you're an explorer who befriends tiny plant-like creatures who selflessly follow your directions. You can direct and throw Pikmin at obstacles, objects, and even your enemies. Once assigned, Pikmin will work as a group to pick up resources or attack enemies. So, I have played a few of the Pikmin games before, and I do like them, so I'll probably grab this eventually. Madden NFL 24. This came out on August 18th. And let's see, yeah, this is for Xbox Series X and S, PS5, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And I forgot to mention Pikmin is for Switch. There are so many Madden games, and I never got into them, but obviously I know how popular they are. Alice Fallen came out in August for Xbox Series X and S, PS5 and PC. I don't know much about this game, but it does look interesting. And the publisher is Focus Entertainment. Armored Core? I have actually never heard of this game. Also came out in August. And Xbox, PS4, PS5, and PC. So this looks like it's maybe a futuristic robot machine type of game. That could be interesting. And is this... Oh yeah, so this is actually created by FromSoft. I might have to check this out. And this looks cute. Illusion Island. Looks like you can play co-op in this one. So that looks like it would be fun. Remnant 2, that's also out for Xbox, PC, and PS5. Hot Accessories, PlayStation VR 2, PlayStation 5, of course, Nintendo Switch OLED, Nintendo Switch, Neon Blue and Red, Xbox Game Pass. I think this is so useful, actually. I just have physical games since I'm a collector, but I think if I didn't care about that, the Game Pass would be so beneficial. Alright, now Starfield, I believe, is the feature of this issue. And let's see. This game is by Bethesda. And it is out. It came out in September. 
a spacefaring science fiction adventure set in the 24th century actually features more than 1,000 distinct planets to explore. So, a space exploration game. You play as a new recruit to Argos Extractors, a space mining corporation. When you stumble upon what seems to be an alien artifact, you catch the attention of Constellation, a small group of explorers dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. It's up to you to follow the trail of those artifacts and their mysterious power, wherever and to whatever answers it leads you. I actually started this game, but I have not picked it back up again. I just could not get into it. Let me know if you are a fan. I think I might just have to try again. One thing I will say is very nice graphics. Although I know it's also pretty buggy recently. This looks cool. And even more information. I can't even believe how many different planets there are to explore. What did it say? More than 1,000. <laughs> Definitely be busy for a long time with this game. The best Bethesda RPGs make it feel like you could play for thousands of hours and still discover something you've never seen before. And here is Mortal Kombat. And the graphics are amazing. Definitely different than the original. And it's really neat to see something like this come to life years later. We didn't want to change the characters too much because they have been established now for over 30 years. Very true. So this can be played on Switch, PC, PlayStation and Xbox. Just PS5 though. And it came out on September 19th. And it is crazy graphics these days. I can barely even tell that this isn't a real person. And then it's actually just a game. And it says, from the fantastic character redesigns to some stylish new stages, the Mortal Kombat series never looked better. Lies of P. Now this game is actually at the top of my list. Very excited to play soon. And here's some information about it. And this is also out as well. For Xbox, PS5, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So this is in a Victorian era setting, which you can kind of see. And the P actually stands for Pinocchio, which is very interesting. So I'm curious to know the whole story. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like Dark Souls. Pinocchio will face off against a host of terrifying robotic monstrosities. It's not a sentence we ever thought we'd be typing. Yeah, again, this seems very unique. I am curious if it will be just as good as Dark Souls, not as good. 
Let me know in the comments if you've played it and what your thoughts are. The Crew Motor Fest. So Xbox, PlayStation, came out in September. So this looks like a pretty cool racing game. More than any other racing game series, the crew seems to be constantly reinventing itself. Wow, these graphics look really cool too. So pick your poison. 15 playlists, each with a specific focus on a certain aspect of car or racing culture. So this one looks cool, made in Japan. Vintage Garage Motor Sports Off Roading Addict. It's a safe bet the game has even more surprises awaiting players beyond what we've already seen. Paw Patrol World. This looks cute. So yeah, this is for Switch, of course, Xbox, PlayStation, PC. So I'm sure this will be a fun game for kids to play. Gameplay may be more styled around open world adventures, but you can still hop in and play together with a friend. Okay, so that's cool. So it's co-op, which I'm sure is a lot of fun. We wanted players to feel like they were in the world of Paw Patrol with the freedom to explore, play, and have fun as the pups. Alright, Final Fantasy 16. Can't even believe there are that many Final Fantasy games. A new RPG world born from flame. Okay, and this is only for PS5, and this came out a while ago in June. Across its 35 plus year history, the Final Fantasy series has consistently offered players experiences that worked to redefine the RPG genre while charting new territories for the franchise itself. This is what the new era of combat in Final Fantasy looks like, and we're actually okay with that. The entirety of the game itself is a pleasure to look at, from the lush landscapes to the incredible character models. Worlds of fun on Nintendo Switch. Well, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.